Hey guys and welcome to Fezair Software. Today I'm unboxing this CM011 or G36C. Hey guys and welcome back. If you are enjoying my content today or at all, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really helps me out. So today I've got a Saima or Kaima CM011 or G36C. I'm a massive fan of these. Um, so this is another one from the uh, Massive Order. Hopefully you've seen the unboxing recently. Uh, so we're just gonna get started. The box, other than the lovely sticker on the front, is uh, just a plain brown box, white styrofoam underneath, nothing too special. The sticker obviously, yeah, gives it away. And we'll uh, lift that up and get that out of the way. Now, as you probably remember, I couldn't resist but uh, poking a hole in there. So we'll get a little bit of a target uh, and a little bit of a safety device. We'll get rid of that. Uh, and then there it is, sealed into the styrofoam. So I'm just going to tear this open. I got a little silica gel. Now, there is a downgrade spring in there. I thought at the time that this was the 300 FPS version. So it could be that they've sent me the normal version and sent me a downgrade spring as well. But I'll crow know that in a couple of minutes. So, I'm a massive fan of G36s. I've got quite a few in my uh, 14, 15 years as an airsofter, and uh, I'm still impressed with them every time I see them. So, in the box then, you've got the little bag of BBs. Again, never gonna see the light of day again. Uh, you've got your standard high cap mag. This is the see-through one. Uh, some brands, particularly Marui, are not see-through, they're more like darker plastic. I'm not bothered either way, it's just a thing to be aware of, we'll get that out of there. You've got your charger down there, probably not worth using. You've got your, oh it's a nunchuck type, 8.4 uh, volt uh, NIM type battery again. Leave it in there, it's probably not going to be any good. Uh, these will run better on lipos. I'll remove the retaining. Underneath, I can already see there is, that has got some quite quite some weight to it. There's already a, a cleaning rod under there. So I'll get rid of that, put the spring back in there, and then we have it. So, I actually am impressed at how much weight there is to this. There is quite a bit of heft to that. There's quite a, a nice weight to it. It's quite, uh, it feels quite substantial in your hands. Obviously the real G36 is made out of like a, a nylon plastic body. Uh, and this is obviously made out of plastic as well. So it does make it lighter, but uh, there's still some weight to it. Definitely around the gearbox, obviously that's where the majority of the weight will sit as well. So you've got your nice ambidextrous fire selectors that click really nicely in place. The trigger's got a tiny bit of movement, but because it's a version three type gearbox, you usually get that sort of thing anyway. Uh, battery compartment is the front foregrip which will come to us in a second the stock nicely swings and clicks into place nicely and needs a good tug and locks back into place nicely again uh, yeah it's quite nice to expose the uh, the hop unit we've got the ambidextrous charging handle that goes either way you pull it back I believe if I'm right you can yeah pull the charging handle back and then that can be tucked down into there and it gives you access to your hop unit you roll it up for hop and down for taking the hop off we'll uh, put that back forward again uh, I've checked that the hop is fully off so to get in the battery compartment there's just a pin here which can be sometimes very stiff to get out Ooh. it is definitely firm that's not coming out easily it's one of the o-ring type pins so it's not going to easily just pop out during uh, mid game play slide that off so there's your hand grip little ridge rail underneath to access uh, add an accessory I am surprised they didn't include the uh, the extra rails to go on the side but they are pretty cheap to pick up if you do want the extra rails we've got a little fuse in there uh, standard wiring all looks above board it looks quite good quality wiring front and down there going into the gearbox it looks like it's slightly thinner gear higher gauge so We'll get a battery on, we'll see what this is uh, turning over like, and then I'll go and get chrono. So, we've got the trusty 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp, 20C LiPo, 
fairly standard uh, type lipo that a lot of people in the UK run. So this is what you can expect. It sounds exactly like a G36. That sound just does not change whatsoever. Almost like a, a ding to it because of the plastic uh, bouncing the sound back. Nice steady rate of fire. We'll go for full auto. It's not bad, it's not good. It's just steady away. Uh, particularly if this is uh, your first gun, it is you know, quite cheap. It's only about 83, 84 pounds. That's quite nice. Um, so we'll go for the 11.1 volt lipos, obviously. Particularly in UK uh, FPSs, I wouldn't recommend an 11.1. You're going to put undue stress on your gearbox and you're probably going to wreck it a lot quicker, but each to their own. So, single shot, uh, safe, single shot. Obviously, as you would expect, as per usual, much quicker, full auto. Much, much, much faster, much snappier. Um, much better rate of fire. Now, a G36 for me, I do like them. I've got a little bit of a soft spot for them. Uh, I particularly like them since playing the original Call of Duty 4 uh, and Gaz using one, and I've done a couple of Gaz loadouts in my time, um, and that's where my passion for them's come from. There's not much else you can say about it. It's just what it is. Uh, there's not an awful lot you can do about the looks of it and things like that. It's just a nice, solid, good quality um, AEG. That said, I'm going to go and chrono this now, see where we're sitting at, and I'll come back and update you in a second. Okay, so I'm back from the chrono, and I, I was really surprised. It is the uh, 300 FPS. Well, it's 320 FPS. Uh, so that was done over 20 shots with 0.2 gram BBs, uh, and it did average out to 320 FPS. A few were a little higher, a few were a little a couple of FPS lower, but it was around 320 FPS, so that doesn't need a downgrade. That's really lovely. Um, I do like G36s. They're just a nice, robust, solid, starter, generic AEG. You can't go wrong with them. You know, If you're looking for something quick, simple and easy that you know you're going to get a lot of use out of and it's going to be reliable, you can't go wrong with one of these. Um, I do like it. Uh, it's a shame that they don't do the proper trades, uh, for Heckle and Cock, but you know, it's from China. What what can you expect? Uh, that said, great piece of kit, really good value at 80, so 84 pounds, 85 pounds from Taiwan Gun. Um, really nice starter if that's what you're looking for. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will leave the photos uh, once I finish speaking. Um, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really helps me out. And I will see you next time. Bye.